morning everyone hope you're all okay i'm coming on to show you some more <laughs> um altered playing cards that i've done as part of sally van eye's yt card challenge that she's doing right i've got these napkins that i've had oh, a couple of years and i've never used any of them so what i did i've well, I've done a couple with fused napkins again where you get I'll leave the link again to my video in case anybody's interested that's not seen it before you get some you get your card and then you lay lay some cling wrap but you have to um, work out which is the cling wrap that will work it's a card cling wrap then your napkin and then some parchment paper over the top and then iron it till it's, it fuses it to the card, well, either card or paper. Uh, right, so the first one I've done is this one. It's just, it just got a little, that piece of the napkin. You just use the top ply. I'll just use a little Santa. I've not done a lot to these ones actually. A couple of coats of Mod Podge. And a little bow that I've had for ages. And this was out of a little pack of bits and bobs. So I've just left that like that because I think it's lovely. Not put any stickles or glitter or anything else. I've just left it like that. Went round the edge with um but no not vintage photo the other one that i like the darker one that that on the back again i've not done anything else i've just let the paper speak for itself because i think it's lovely so that's number 17 right number 18 i had some happy mail the other week from wendy laurie and she sent uh some chocolates that Mr Doodle has now eaten. Thank you very much, Wendy. He said thank you. Uh, and that she'd packaged them nicely in some of this paper. So I thought, right, I'll make one out of that. And this is what I've done. Just chopped it down to... In actual fact, there isn't a playing card, so it, it's... An altered playing card, non-playing card. <laughs> because it was <clears throat> it was already thick, um, you know, Wendy had put patterned paper on both sides. I thought, well, it's it just, you know, there was no need. So I've just gone around a playing card to get the right size. And this was, I had to cut this piece was on the front of it so I've had to chop that down and stick that on the top and the little Santa was already on it and the Merry Christmas that was already there and this one I went round the edge with a red ink I don't know what the name is and then this bow I've had for ages and just left the paper on the back so that was another nice quick and easy one oh, I love that one so thank you for that paper Wendy um right that's number 18 this one's number 19 again this this was with paper that wendy had wrapped her gifts up in a tissue paper this is not napkin it's tissue paper so again i fused it onto some card look at the difference it makes it's just it's just lovely it was just a a cheapo card so I've used some of that on I've only used one Sandra I kind of where's it gone knew what I wanted to do and this is what I've done he was already only half a Santa <laughs> that's why I used him I thought he can go on the side I gave the card a coat off
Oh dear, why can't you speak when you put the camera on? A coat of gesso, and then I knew I wanted to use that, I don't know what it's called, the, the fake snow stuff that's like a bit glisteny. It's not picking it up, I don't think, but um, so I glued some of that on and then put some more gesso over the top because you could still see. Didn't, I'd only put one coat of gesso on and you could still see some of the red through, so I gave it another coat and then some more Mod Podge and stuck old Santa on. And these words, I've had these in my stash for a while. And that was that. Oh, I did put some stickles on his coat. And that was that one. And then just put some stickles on the back. Love it. <laughs> right, where are we? That one. I'll show you that one. Hmm. Oh, that's, yeah, that was, what was that? 90. Oh, then the last one I don't like and I've left it downstairs. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. Well, anyway, I can't, I'll, just a minute, I'm going to go and fetch it. <laughs> oh, that's made me puff running back up the stairs. Um, yeah, I've got this tissue box. Well, Mr. Doodle had this tissue box, and he's, I think I'd ask him ages ago when it finished, could I have the box, please? So he said the other day, Do you want it? And I was like, Oh, no, I don't think so. Go on then, yes, I will. <laughs> Change my mind just like that. <coughs> So I've done a card, but I don't really like it, but it is what it is. I hate that saying. And I just took the risk and did it. <laughs> no, I didn't know what to do. I just, yeah. <laughs> All I've done is just stuck the card on, <clears throat> gone round the bits and bobs with a black pen and then put some purple stickles on some of the pieces oh, I've got a black pen and just put all dots in between and this these words were from well, I've put them away now from I don't know the name I showed you the other day uh, I've got some words from Instagram, uh, not Instagram, from Pinterest or, or a blog, I can't quite remember. And it was a free download of all different words and that was one of them. I thought, I don't know, don't know what else. That was just plain white at the top and, and then these little bits, they were on the box as well. So I just cut those out to put them on the back. But I think of all of the ones I've done, that is the least favourite, but we can't like them all, can we? So they're my little altered playing cards for today. And I might come back in a few minutes, although I probably won't load, upload it till tomorrow, to show you some more things. Right, so thank you again, Sally, for setting the challenge off. Like me to do a lot of Christmassy stuff, but I thought I would have a go. <laughs> Right, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.